What's going on, my people? Welcome back to the Trumpet Studio. I'm Recio. Let's roll the intro. Today, we're going to talk about practice mutes. This is a best brass practice mute. I highly recommend it. So, we're going to dive into it. Let's go. I'm going to start off by playing open with the trumpet so you get to see how it sounds as my mic setup is currently. And then I'll add in the different levels of the mutes and talk about how they are different. Here's the open trumpet. Cup mute. Very common one to be used. So that does def definitely dampen the sound. It's more of a texture mute for us to use in the trumpet section during big band songs or in the orchestra. So it does change the sound. I don't recommend this as the go-to practice mute for students because it changes the back pressure and how different parts of the horn function. So if we have a better option, we can step up to that best brass practice mute. All right, so I also need a favor. I'm trying to build the channel organically, but now I want to branch out. So I want everybody who's watching these videos who are benefiting from the information to share it to one person. Don't forget to consider sending it to band parents. Band parents are also looking for this information for the students. They're likely not musicians. Um, and if they are, they might not have played that instrument. So share this to a band parent, share this to a friend who plays a brass instrument, and um, that'll help me build this channel so I can get this information to as much people as possible. So please do that and let's get back to the lesson. All right, so we're gonna try the straight mute. The straight mute is something that's commonly used in the orchestra. Very little in jazz unless you're talking about traditional jazz and that's it's used kind of like a straight mute and a plunger. Well, it's in the bell and it's off to an angle and it's a, it's a very unique sound that you might hear in like Louis Armstrong setup or some of the New Orleans traditional jazz. Um, but this is what it'll sound like if you were practicing in it versus playing open. With the mute in. So the straight mute takes some of the edge off, but it is even louder in my opinion. And from what I can hear now, when I listen to playback, I can give you a more definitive answer. It's more, even louder than the cut mute. So that makes sense because the cut mute does have some elements that bring some of the sound back to the trumpet player, um, which will dampen the sound a good bit. We have the best brass practice mute. And the reason I recommend this one so much is because it's a better representation of playing naturally than the other mutes that we've listened to. So here's open. And here's with the best brass practice mute. And I've been playing it about the same volume for all the mutes. Now, for me in the room right now, without listening to playback, that sounds like almost 100 times different um, from what you heard in the other two mutes. Um, I definitely think my parents out there will be greatly appreciative of this type of sound happening in the house um, at, at the wee hours of the night. Of course we want the students to be able to practice open, but if your student is ambitious and they want to practice at 9 and 10 o'clock at night before they go to bed and you want to go to sleep before you go to work, this will help both of you achieve your goals. You can get to sleep and they can get to practice anything they need at any volume with this mute. All right, so I'll do one last test on each one of these. I'm gonna play open. I'm gonna do a concert B flat to B flat. It's concert pitch, of course, C for our trumpet players. I'm gonna do it at a moderately loud volume and hopefully this will replicate how they can benefit you using a different mute. Cut mute. Straight mute. and best brass. All right, so thank you for tuning in to our discussion about practice mutes and why it would be beneficial for you and your student or for you, the trumpet player, beneficial for you to have this mute. Um, they make them for trumpets and trombones. They may make them for other brass instruments, but I know for sure they have them for those two. So check them out, let me know what you think. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you, like I said earlier, if you want to help out the channel, go ahead and share this to somebody so I can bring this, in, bring this information to others and we can grow. And this is going to be a great new thing for you and your family. Check out this best brass practice mute.